before we get started, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content in the future. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. We got some news update on the new Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Uh, Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reboot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they just came out with Twitter uh, saying that there's a new website called uh, 23rdday.com. Uh, I'll put an image up right here. You can go over to it. I'll also put a link in the uh, description down below. And it says like every 23rd, it's got, it's just a bunch of zeros of like an hours, minutes, and countdown. Uh, right now it's a bunch of zeros, but they're saying that there's going to be an announcement on October 23rd. Uh, not sure what that's going to be, if it's going to be a trailer, if the movie's going to be released, like, like all of a sudden, or if it's... Uh, or if I, I we don't know <laughs> we don't know what's going on but uh if you look at this image it looks like a puzzle with like some birds or crows over here in the background i don't know if like these puzzle pieces are going to be taken down you know while the timer is is getting closer to um to to the reveal uh, not sure but they just announced this you can go over and uh, and and check 23rdday.com and uh, yeah, um, I'm excited about the new reboot. I hate that Jonathan Breck is not going to be playing the Creeper this time around, which I just saw him at Texas Frightmare a couple weeks ago. Uh, really cool guy. Um, uh, they're kind of keeping this new Creeper in the background. They've showed little bits and pieces of the images of like on set, but nothing really too much. Uh, they're kind of being really secretive about this. And they also keep changing the date of when this film is going to come out. They, they said it was going to come out in October. Then they said it got pushed in November. Then they're talking about 2022. And then I've heard speculation that now they're going to go ahead and release it. They may, with this, you know, with this uh, uh, timer up already and and they're saying there's a big announcement on the 23rd which you know the creeper comes back every 23 years uh so they're they're, they're keeping with that that same uh vibe here so they may just surprise us and just drop it on the 23rd i doubt it's gonna i mean if they do do that i doubt it's gonna go to theaters because you know um uh, it's going to be competing with halloween and and other things that are in the uh, of venom that's about to come out this weekend but uh, I don't really think that would be a really good marketing thing. Or maybe, I mean, we don't know if this is going to be good. I know they want this to be a new trilogy, but maybe they don't have high hopes for this one uh, after the finished product, after they're done with, with the production and everything. And maybe that's the only way that they can get um, get uh, it get some money back for it is just to be you know spontaneous right before Halloween to get everyone hyped and go see it. Uh, similar to uh, who did who? What was that movie that did that? Uh, it was like a spinoff of um, Ten Cloverfield Lane or or Cloverfield. What was that movie that Netflix just dropped? It was like a Super Bowl ad, and like they were like, "Oh, you can go see this movie like right now on Netflix," and they like dropped it spontaneous. But the movie wasn't that great. But that's kind of like what they did there. They got like you know, like everyone was like, "Oh, it's it's available to watch right now," and everyone swarmed to go watch it. They could be doing a similar approach with this with with jeepers creepers i don't know i am a fan of the jeepers creepers franchise so i do want it to be successful and i do want it to be a really good movie um victor salva is not uh attached to this film except for being the creator of the creeper itself uh that's a good thing because i'm not going to uh support anything that he does even though i am a big fan of jeepers creepers one jeepers creepers two was kind of silly um, and then Jeepers Creepers 3 just had some horrible CGI. Way too far of a way to just be let down like that. And then the connection to the first and second second film just, it didn't make sense. Uh, it was kind of just like uh, shoehorned in there. But uh, but anyways, yeah guys, what do you guys think about uh, Jeepers Creepers Reborn? And uh, are you excited about this? Uh, what do you want to see mostly? Oh, if you look at the images, it looks like... I don't know if this is like the Jeep, the Creeper's lair. Like there's like this like house that it's showing. I don't know if this is like where he uh, stays. Like like that'd be kind of cool if they have like a little bit of a like um like a creepy house aesthetic uh, instead of just him being you know out in cornfields and and uh, in a in a truck in a creepy truck. That'd be pretty cool if he has like a house and like like you know the people the the uh, protagonist that we're following like like come across his house that would be cool and if they accidentally like like waken him or something you know i don't know uh uh 
I, I do want to see I want to see the finished product. I want to see what they're working with here. But uh, yeah, guys. All right. So that's all I got to say about Jeepers Creepers. Just be on the lookout on October 23rd for an announcement. Next, let's talk about uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, one of my one of my games that I put way too many hours into. It takes too much of my life away from from my family, my wife, everything. I think my wife hates this game because. I, I'm, I'm, it's just, it's just my jam. It's just what I do. I, I love playing Warzone. Um, but it looks like that there's leaks that the, that Ghostface from Scream is going to be a skin for the Halloween event that's coming up uh, very shortly. We're about to have season six come out next week. I don't know if they're going to drop it then or if like maybe you know a couple weeks after that, right before Halloween, if they're going to do a Halloween event and drop the skin then. They're also talking about that Donnie Darko is going to be a. Uh, a Halloween skin as well um, that was kind of odd I didn't really expect that now last last time that uh, Warzone did this their last Halloween event it was uh, Jigsaw well it was Billy from from the Saw films you could get that skin or you could get Leatherface that was pretty cool and you got some charms and some you know so a, lo a lot of little uh, Easter eggs from the films and stuff like that so yeah I think that's pretty cool I think that I, I could see myself running around as uh as uh ghostface and warzone that that'd be really cool um also i hope that it's the skin for i don't know if it'll be a separate skin but if it is a skin for one of the characters in the game i hope it's for ghosts that would be really dope that would, that would be awesome and also like like i hope that they keep it real like if he does if it comes with like a melee weapon or something you get the actual ghostface knife the little hunting knife that uh, he he has, I hope it's like to the T on that. But also the NECA figure that came out um, not too long ago has like that. What 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 did they call that? That like staff that uh, uh, I I don't know the name of it. They could use that as one of the melees as well. Uh, I'll put an image up right here to show you uh, what comes in that little box set. I don't know if that's going to be in the new Screen Five film or or if that's just something that they put in with the NECA toy. But yeah, it came with the NECA toy and you know, NECA, I mean, well not NECA, but like action figures are known to give away spoilers for, for films that are upcoming. So um, if you could get both, I mean, hey, I'd be okay with that. You know, more melee weapons in Call of Duty is always, uh, always really good uh, to see that, especially whenever you play like Knife Fight or something like that. So yeah, uh, are, are you, do you guys play Warzone? If, if so, hit me up. Um, I play on PC and on Xbox, and so uh, just look me up, uh, Des the Pest. Uh, that that's D E S T H A P E S T. Let's squad up. Let's let's do some quads, some trios, some duos, or something. Because like uh, um, that that's pretty much all I really play lately. Which we don't have a whole lot to choose from right now. But uh, yeah, we need we need some games, and they're they're coming out. You know, October is upon us, and they call it Broketober. So yeah. So, yep, that's it. Uh, hopefully these leaks are true, and I am very looking forward to seeing, to playing Ghostface when it comes out for the Halloween event. All right. And our third and final topic today is going to be the, uh, they just announced the, the 4K collection box set of the Evil Dead uh, Groovy Collection. Uh, it looks like it's got a lot of bells and whistles, some great artwork. Uh, it looks like it's going to be all of the movies, uh, it's going to be Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, uh, I don't believe Army of Darkness is in this, um, I don't know, rights issues and stuff, uh, but it looks like the Ash vs. Evil Dead movies are going to be in there too. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the Evil Dead um, remake is going to be in here either, I don't, I don't think it is. Let's go over this real quick. Uh, the Evil Dead uh, 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray special features is going to be the audio commentary of writer-director Sam Raimi, producer Robert G. Ta Taper Tappert, and star Bruce Campbell. That'll be really cool. Uh, the Evil Dead DVD special features, uh, one by one, we will take you the untold saga of the Evil Dead, the Evil Dead treasures from the cutting room floor, uh, life after death, life after dead, the ladies of the Evil Dead, the ladies of the Evil Dead meet Bruce Campbell, Unconventional, at the drive-in, reunion reunion panel, discovering the Evil Dead, makeup test, trailer, some TV spots. That's for the first uh, Evil Dead, uh, the original. Um, for Evil Dead 2, for the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray special features, it's going to be Bloody and Groovy Baby, tribute to Sam Raimi's Evil Dead 2, which is 
probably my favorite one out, out of all of them honestly uh that's the that i was way too young seeing these movies and evil dead 2 just like grasped me and then i later on watched the first evil dead i liked it as well but something about evil dead 2 it was just like it just it just stuck with me <laughs> uh, i still from time to time think about that movie a lot it was way it was way before its time Anyways, uh, audio commentary with writer-director Sam Raimi, actor Bruce Campbell, co-writer Scott Spiegel, and special effects, uh, special makeup effects artist uh, Greg Nicotero. Ne ne I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Blu-ray special features, Swallowed Souls, the, make the Making of Evil Dead 2, Cabin Fever, Behind the Scenes of Evil Dead 2, Road to Wadesboro, not Woodsboro, Wadesboro, Revisiting the Shooting Location with Filmmaker Tony Elwood, Evil Dead 2 Behind the Screams, The Gore, The Merrier, Still Galleries, Audio Commentary. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't look like uh, uh, Army of Darkness is going to be in this collection, which really sucks because that's that that's great as well. Uh, at, um, but it is coming with all the seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead that was on Stars. I uh, am a big fan of that show. I hate that it got cancelled, which we do have... A video game coming up and I, I thought it was coming out this October I don't know if it's been delayed it could have been but it looks really good if you haven't seen the trailer I highly recommend go check it out you know since you know we need more horror games like this that's it's gonna be online and I think there is gonna be a single player but I think they said that's gonna come on later on but uh, yeah go check it out really great graphics it's using uh, Bruce Campbell and the and the uh, like Dana De Lorenzo that was in the Ash vs. Evil Dead show. Like it's using like the the actual actors as the voice characters of the game or for the characters. Um, really, it looks really promising, honestly. And I hope I, I was hoping that we would get it right at this Halloween. Um, we haven't had a really good horror game in, in quite some time, besides the Resident Evil Village. Uh, but like Friday the Thirteenth game, I was a big fan of that. But we know all about that. That it's you know it's in uh, rights. Uh, they're, they're fighting for the rights of it right now in court, so we're not getting any updates for it. It's kind of, it's kind of dated. We're not getting any updates on that game or anything like that. So, uh, uh, so yeah, more horror games is always appreciated and welcomed, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's go over this. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead: The Complete Collection Blu-ray Special Features of Season One will be Inside the World of Ash, How to Kill a Deadite, Best of Ash audio commentaries. Season 2 will have Season 2 First Look, Inside the World of Ash vs. Evil Dead, Up for Ash, Women Who Kick Ash, Puppets Are Cute, Dawn of the Spawn, Bringing Henrietta Back, The Delta, How to Kill a Deadite, Fatality Mashup, Audio Commentaries. And then Season 3 will be Season Overview, uh, Inside the World of Ash vs. Evil Dead, and Audio Commentaries. So yeah, I mean, this looks like a really cool set. It's, it's like, it's, it's a pretty pretty hefty set um really look I, I think i'm gonna i'm gonna pick this one up it's, it's gonna be pretty badass i do have um a lot of the films like i said i, I did meet De dana de lorenzo at uh at texas frightmare and i got her to sign my first still book of ash versus evil dead uh really cool chick uh uh she, she, she she's she's badass she was badass in the show and i want to see her do more work as well but uh, I got the season one uh, still book. I got the season two still book. I didn't get her to sign all these. I just had the first season. And then uh, season three still book. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. And also I got Evil Dead 2 and the uh, Scream Factory Army of Darkness, uh, Army of Darkness uh, Blu-ray as well with a lot of a lot of other special features um yeah i don't have the first one i thought i did i think i have it on dvd old movie i i, I that's why i want to pick this one up i'd like to see them all in 4k that'd be really really cool i'm a big fan of evil dead um but yeah uh so yeah guys uh what do you guys think about this are y'all gonna pick up this uh this box set here uh are you a, are you an evil dead fan are you also excited about the evil dead game that's coming out uh, along with uh, playing Ghostface at, in Warzone, um, even though that you know Warzone's it, it's a it's a gun game. It's it's shooting. It's 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 explosion. It's going to be kind of crazy seeing Ghostface run around with a with a submachine gun or a LMG or a sniper rifle, you know. But it, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. So uh, yeah, that's all we have right now. 
um, that that's coming out. Man, I really wish Army of Darkness was in this box set and the remake of Evil Dead. Also, I have that as well, uh, the remake of Evil Dead. But you know, Evil Dead Rise is coming out as well, and they said that's going to be taking place in the city. And I think Bruce Campbell's going to take a back seat in this. I think he is involved in creating it. I talked to Dana DeLorenzo about that at Texas Frightmare. Uh, uh, she's not involved in the movie or anything like that. It's going to be a new group of kids that we're following. It's going to be in the city. If Bruce Campbell is in it, he'll just do like a cameo or something. So um, I think it's going to take some comedic co tones as well, but it, it's not going to hold back the gore. You can't make an Evil Dead movie and, and not have tons and tons amounts of buckets of blood <laughs> i don't think that would be a, a really good evil dead movie uh so yeah that's that's where the charm is 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 the gore so anyways uh yeah guys that's all we got for today um i just want to make this i just want to jump on here and make this quick little video um with all this horror news that's going on so yeah I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. That helps out the channel a lot. Uh, it gets my video out there and circulating more with the algorithm. And, and uh, subscribe to Destination Station if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate you coming by and checking out my videos. And um, I, tr I try to put, back, put out at least three or four videos a week. Um, mainly horror content. And I do movie reviews and stuff. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hit the, hit the subscribe button. You know, what are you waiting on? So yeah, guys, this is Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to Destination Station.